Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is Monday, it is the beginning of the week. And, girl, look at this weather. How are you going to start this week with this, like, depressive ass sky? I don't know. Please be here for me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to be here for you guys. So no matter what you're doing, girl, I'm still going to be giving you all the tea because that's what I do. I want to welcome every single one of you. If you're new here, welcome to the Bravely Troop where we keep it real. We mention it all. We talk about Bravo, pop culture, reality TV, absolutely everything. So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this um, mess. Girl, it is time to talk about Salt Lake City. I have some cold, cold iced tea coming from the cold mountains of Salt Lake City because tell me why I'm starting to sense that Miss Whitney Rose will want to go against Queen Lisa Barlow next season. Hmm? Why is this going to happen? Okay, we need to dissect a lot of this. Whitney Rose has been going around throwing little jabs at Lisa Barlow. Mm -hmm. And I was like, weren't you supposed to be like friends? Weren't you supposed to be like in a different mindset, you know? Like you were finally able to like move on with Lisa Barlow. Why are you going to bring him back? Okay. <clears throat> there is a lot of situations going on over here. So, um, let me see where, she, where should we start. I'm going to tell you what Whitney said first, and then I'll give you some of my opinions, okay? So, Whitney was recently on the Nick Vile um, podcast, you know, and they were talking about, you know, the show, different things. You know, for example, she said that uh, she think that a lot of the ladies still have real fear for Jane Shaw, you know, she says, I think that there is still, and I don't think it's because of physicality or like threat of what Jane can do. I think it's what she knows. She thinks that, you know, like Jane Shaw might have a lot of information of some of the other ladies. Um, to be very honest with you, with the exception of Heather Gay, I really don't feel like fear is something that the other ladies feel, you know? Like, I, I, I don't think that Lisa Barlow, Marilyn Marks, or even Angie Katanevas really fear Jane Shaw. You know, I think they're very much like whatever. I don't know. Um, Whitney also addressed concerns that she will be plummet next season. So, so she says, the show will be plummet next season. She says, people were concerned with Mary Cosby didn't come back. People were concerned with Jane Shaw didn't come back. And look at us now. Every season gets better and better and better. I promise you, Salt Lake City, it's a gem. People don't need to be concerned. That part, I can agree with her all the like a hundred percent, you know, like so many people being like, Oh no, what are we gonna do without Monica Garcia? The show will be so bad. Is the exact same people were that were saying, Oh no, the show will be so bad without Jane Shaw. Bitch, there is always thirsty girls trying to get their 15 minutes of fame, you know, just like Monica Garcia. Okay, those girls are very much replaceable. That's always going to be the case. You know, you will always find a way to move on with the show. At the end of the day, I keep saying this, every single housewife is replaceable. Okay, no matter how much we love them, no matter how powerful they are, or how rich they are or anything, Every single housewife is replaceable. And I honestly believe that no one is needed to make the show great because what makes the show great is the interaction between the ladies, you know? <clears throat> the host uh, asks if another newbie will get a snowflake. She says, uh, or Monica Snowflakes, you know? And she says, Nick, we already have her replacement. She has been here for four years. I guess it's not her replacement. We already have that person. 
Lisa Barlow. Lisa's always been the villain. You're an icon villain, Lisa. You are a Salt Lake icon. Girl, I felt the jealousy coming from that statement right there. And then she says, she's really like at BravoCon and stuff. She's always on the icon panel. So she represents Salt Lake City. I don't think we need Monica because we have enough personalities as it is. So my question is, why? Why is she calling Lisa Barlow a villain? Mm? Just because she doesn't want to play in, you know, the little weird game. Look, I I have never been a fan of Whitney, but I have never been a troll or a hater. You know, I have always kind of like have her there, you know, like wherever. I don't really care too much, you know. I think she I think she is part of the cast, you know. Uh, but I never have feel of her like a really like important part of the cast you know she doesn't have the same energy like you know lisa or meredith or even heather you know that which they are very strong personalities whitney on the other hand has always been kind of like a follower and we have seen her trying to convince herself that she's not one you know but then she gets very annoyed or very angry when people who she considers her friends are not doing what she wants them to do. And I think, and I think, I don't know if it's her insecurities or I don't know if it's, you know, that she's definitely on a transformational journey, you know, and, and trying to be a different person of what she used to be, you know, but I, I found her to be a little bit flip, flip floppy, you know, all the time, you know, and it's not like it is a bad thing. I just think that she is really trying to find out who she is and why, and that's why she's doing all of these situations, you know? However, uh, I don't like that. I don't like the, the whole, like, oh, if you are not 100% my friend, then you are my enemy kind of thing, you know? And now she's going to take this approach with Lisa Barlow, and I'm asking why. Why, like that statement of like, oh, of course she's an icon, you know, she's the villain. She has always been the villain. It's like, why would you do that statement? Why would you create that? Is it because you need a new storyline, you know, and you have to go after someone again? Like, is that what you really want to do moving forward? I don't think Lisa is going to be very happy, because, especially Lisa has really like, she really took Whitney in, you know? She really opened to her, you know, she was, you know, let's work on this friendship, let's make it happen. And, uh, and that that's one of the things that Whitney always wanted, you know. Whitney always wants not only attention, but she wants acceptance. Look at what she said to Mary Cosby. I was so afraid of you that you, will, that, that you wouldn't like me. Who will say something like that, you know? Many people will say like, I don't give a fuck if you like me or not, you know? So why would you be so afraid of people liking you or not? But the moment that they like you, then you're going to be like, oh no, she's an enemy. She's a villain, you know? Um, I think if anything, Lisa Barlow, and one of the reasons why I like her as a housewife is because she is so real and she just put everything out there. And I love that because, you know, Lisa Barlow doesn't need the show. You know, Lisa Barlow has coins. She has a lot of money. And when you have housewives that have a lot of money, they don't really need the show. So they do the show for fun or just like an extra activity or whatever, right? Maybe that's the jealousy part that Whitney, that Whitney is saying because Whitney on the other side, she needs the show, you know? She's cre just creating a business, so she needs a show to promote her business, to get that money. It's not a secret that they are they, they don't have the same money that they used to have before, you know, especially since uh, Justin uh, lost uh, his job, you know, and all of that, you know. So Winnie does need to be looking for that storyline, and now she's trying to come for Lisa Barlow. I don't think it's going to work out, and I think she, she should be treating lightly not because she's going against Lisa Barlow but because she's being fake at it you know why fighting so bad for a friendship you know just to then vilify that person why because she didn't say I I I'm sorry for your loss one time which by the way was proof at their reunion that Lisa actually did reach out to Whitney 
to say I'm so sorry and to hug her, you know. So what game is Whitney really playing over here? Also, I have been I have been following the new girls, Miley and Brittany. <clears throat> Apparently, allegedly, for what also I have been hearing out here on the streets, is that Whitney has been reaching out like crazy to the new girls, closing up to them. Is she going to start putting all of these ideas on their heads against Lisa Barlow? And why? You know, I don't I don't I don't know if that's a game that she wants to play because Lisa has not done anything to Whitney. You know, if anything, Heather has done more like crazy things to Whitney. So what I'm thinking right now is that first uh, because Lisa is now kind of like being friendly with Heather Gay, that's rubbing Whitney in such a bad way because Whitney wanted to be the number one girl, you know? Um, so I think that she was like, oh, no, no, no. Have you ever seen like Scream Queens? I feel like Lisa Barlow is like Chanel and, uh, and <laughs> Whitney wanted to be Chanel number one, you know, and Heather wanted to be Chanel number two, you know, and, uh, and now Heather is Chanel number one, you know, and Whitney is like, oh, no, no, you know, so now I'm going to destroy everyone. I'm going to kill everyone, you know, so that's what I'm thinking. I, I, I just, girl, I can, you know, I can. So, yeah, one, one of those things is definitely that jealousy of Whitney wanted to be the number one girl. And the second one, I don't know if maybe Whitney is jealous that Lisa Barlow is representing Salt Lake City so much when Lisa Barlow is actually from New York and is not, you know, like someone from Utah, right? And maybe she feels like she will represent Salt Lake City better because she actually was born and raised in, uh, in Utah, you know? Maybe that's also a possibility, right? But, girl, icons, they're just made, you know. They are just made. So, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. What do you think? Why do you think Whitney is now going to try to go after Lisa Barlow? Let me know. And if you're going to get all the tea related to the Real Houses of Salt Lake City or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.